da mucho gusto saludarlos y darles la bienvenida a más un programa de Lizy Rodríguez, en un espacio también creado para crecer, para aprender, para compartir. Y bueno, pues hoy les traigo algo increíble. He tenido la bendición, ustedes saben por qué, sí, David. David está ya con nosotros, es saying hi, es nuestro invitado del día de hoy. Pero primero quiero también darles pues la bienvenida a ustedes, decirles que me siento muy contenta y muy bien decía de poder estar con ustedes en este programa. Que tengo un invitadazo que se llama David Wong y ahorita les voy a platicar quién es y por qué llega a mi vida David. Pues el long COVID a mí me dio durísimo y ustedes lo saben. Y yo tenía migreña, brain fog, y después se complicó con un problema en el intestino. Para hacerles el cuento corto, un año y medio, siete médicos, dos tomografías de cerebro sintiéndome fatal. Y mírenme ahora, porque llegó un momento en que Dios, porque Dios es maravilloso y la vida y el universo, y cuando verdaderamente deseas algo como es la salud, y lo feo que se siente perderla. Porque cuando pierdes la salud, pierdes la energía, pierdes las ganas de vivir, pierdes la sonrisa, todo te cuesta muchísimo más trabajo y sentirte mal no impacta a una persona. Impacta a toda tu familia, impacta a tus colaboradores, impacta a la sociedad en general. Entonces mucha gente se quedó bien tocada de diferentes sentidos a raíz de lo que vivimos con la pandemia. Y la vida me llevó a la medicina funcional. Y de ahí al biohacking. ¿Y qué es el biohacking? Pues básicamente es, ¿qué hacemos para que esto, que es el vehículo que la vida nos dio, el universo nos entregó para caminar en esta vida, ¿qué podemos hacer para que funcione de una mejor manera? Digamos, para sacarle provecho. Así que gracias a todas las personas que están uniendo este live. Gracias por siempre confiar en mí. Gracias por mandarme su luz. Y bueno, pues ahora sí les quiero platicar de nuestro súper invitado del día de hoy. Él se llama David Wong. David, además de ser escritor de este libro que se llama Life of King, es inventor y es un hombre que desde que yo lo vi me sorprendió. Yo lo conocí en un evento que organizó el doctor Fab Mancini, que seguramente ustedes lo conocen, que lo adoro con todo mi corazón, como un gran hermano. Lo organizó en The Breakers. Y yo ya había escuchado de David en el evento, el Biohacking Conference de Dave Asprey en Orlando. Entonces, para hacerles el cuento corto, todo esto tiene que ver con esto. Y ahora sí, quiero que por favor le demos la bienvenida a este espacio. Can see you. Esta entrevista la voy a hacer en inglés. Hi, David. I think you have to ask to enter the live. Pero ahorita se comunica. There you are, my David. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. How are you? I am fantastic. How can I be not fantastic? <laughs> when symbolically I have you here with me and all the people in Mexico, the Spanish people, the Spanish speaking people, well, um, I'm very happy to introduce you and your technology and your science and your story to them. So welcome to Mexico and welcome to all my followers in this beautiful community that has been with me so many years. And this is going to have subtitles when it um, goes in Reto Femenino show, but many people that are with us will definitely understand you. And thank you. Y los angelitos nos acompañan desde el cielo. David, it was such a pleasure meeting you at the Breakers and Dr. Fab's event. And I was fascinated by your story because this and this did not come out of those moments in life where we feel, woohoo, it was really bad for you. And I would say kiddo, but when people know your age, they will be very surprised. There you go. Here I go too. Yes. How how old do you, does the audience think I look like? When I, how old do I look? Me pregunta David que porfa escriban ustedes en el chat la edad que ustedes creen que David tiene. 
si me oyeron cuando hice la mini entrevista con él en The Breakers, pero no digan así a one side, the other side, ¿qué edad le calculan a David? Y escríbanlo acá porque por favor quiero que ustedes vean. Gaby, ponte usa caperuza. Let's see what people think. Well, that was quite fascinating, but what I would really think is before people try to... Um, Descubran qué edad tiene David. ¡Ay, qué mal! Read my profile. Lupi said 42. A ver, sigan la chamba, David. ¿Qué edad creen que tiene David? ¿De qué edad? ¿45? ¡Oh, my God! Well, you know, a ver, síganle, síganle. Bueno, pues déjenme decirles que voy a hablar en inglés con David. David no habla español, pero después van a salir los subtítulos de este programa. Pero básicamente de lo que vamos a hablar es de una tecnología que David inventó, que inventó a raíz de estar 10 años enfermo de una colitis ulcerativa, que básicamente lo que quiere decir es que estás en dolor crónico, que no aguantas el estómago, que cualquier cosa que te comes te sientes fatal, y así estuvo 10 años. Y nada lo curaba. Y él se curó por equivocación solo. Y a través de esa equivocación surgió esto que nos va a compartir. David, it's all yours. How did this happen in your life? So, just, so how many of you have had a uh, sickness or had a health condition that they struggle with? Or how many of you have known somebody close to you in your family that had had a, a health condition? Let me And it was say that for our friends, okay? Mm -hmm. David les está preguntando, o sea, hablando honestamente, ¿cuántos de ustedes han tenido, o ustedes mismos, o un familiar con un dolor crónico, con una enfermedad crónica, con algo que, que los ha discapacitado muchos años? Por favor, compartan. Y they, they say 42 and 45. Y díganos también qué edad tiene David. And you know what, David, I think I'm going to get closer. So I can keep on reading and saying hi to our friends because my assistant had to leave because she's a mom. So I'm getting closer right now to you and to all of them. So David, I would like you to share the story of your life and how you healed yourself and how this is such an amazing technology and many, many people in the world are already using it and healing from things that traditional, or how we know traditional doctors said it was impossible to heal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you know how traditional doctors work. They are just treating symptoms, Yep. right? So just the surface. And then if you have a disease, then you have a, a side effects or conditions. They'll just give you a pill to treat the symptoms. And hopefully that symptom goes away. So you're reliant on this pill every day Um, to be taken and every month it costs you money every year it costs more money but you're not actually getting better you're just treating the symptom so that's what happened when I was uh, I had ulcerative colitis which is a ulcer uh, digestive disorder there's no cure I went to all the experts and they said you have to live with this your whole life you're going to suffer your whole life you take this medication and hopefully it helps and guess what happened it didn't help it cost lots of money And it gave me side effects. It gave me skin problems that I didn't have before. So, mm -hmm. you know, how many of you have had that same situation where you, the doctor just gave you a pill to treat the symptom, but then you got all these side effects and it never really healed you, right? I think well, I got SIBO. A, a SIBO. I got SIBO as a si SIBO, mm -hmm. which is a small intestine bowel over um, bacterial overgrowth. And it was awful. And they gave me antibiotics 15 days. And day 16, I started to feel bad again. And it was, they think, maybe another byproduct of the long COVID I have for a long time. So I definitely identify with you, are, what way you are saying. Yeah. ¿Cuántos de ustedes no van al doctor, les dan una pastillita, y la pastillita a ustedes se la toman porque son muy buenos pacientes y más que nada porque se quieren sentir bien. Y entonces, o terminan el tratamiento y se vuelven a sentir mal, o esa pastillita que te curó ese síntoma 
a lo mejor te causó otro síntoma. Y eso es lo que nos está compartiendo David. Yes, David. Sorry for interrupting, but I'm doing this translation thing okay. with you. So all our Spanish people, our Spanish speaking friends start mm -hmm. to, there you go. Right. And then, and then what also happens is you got these side effects. So you take more pills. They give you, go back to the doctor and say, oh, I got skin problems now. And then they give you another pill for the skin problem. And then that gives you another problem, and then another problem and so on. So it is endless. And lots of people are realizing that and say, there's gotta be a better way to recover than this. This is stupid. This is a waste of time. I'm wasting my life away. I'm sick. I can't do anything. I'm so tired and I am so, um, cause I was bleeding every day, every day of my life. I had to bleed. I was bleeding so much. I could not go out of the house. That was that bad. And I, I was almost giving up and I was almost, I was just on my knees crying because I knew that if I didn't change something in my life, then I would be stuck in that place forever. And I'll never be able to do anything in my life, do anything that was good. You know, we are created to be powerful. We are created to make difference in other people's lives. We are created to help other people and to be happy and to be, you know, abundant. And I knew deep into in my heart that I had more for me than what I had when I was sick. So I was crying out to God. I said, God, whatever you want me to do, I've been sick for 10 years, 10 years I've been sick. What do you want me to do so that I can stop being sick? And he said, David, you should try to meditate. So I started to meditate and through that meditation, I started to get ideas about how to heal. I started to get ideas of how to use frequencies, devices, technology, because I am a like science guy and I always like to test and create new things. I'm also a musician. I'm also a Qigong practitioner. So I have, I can sense vibrations. I can sense energy. So when I started to experiment just for the sake of meditation, I just wanted to meditate better. But what ended up happening was I accidentally healed myself in 90 days. Through meditation? Through the inspirations and the technology I discovered. Oh. Which, okay, which is? Which started it through meditation. We start and meditation. Many people that are with us right now on the show don't understand what this is. And I want you to explain because the world, as you said, is changing. Everything is in, in change. We are changing. Amigas y amigos, todo está en cambio en movimiento. Y lo que estamos hablando es que pues en el mundo se están empezando a descubrir nuevas formas de sanar y esto es sanar a través de la energía. ¿Por qué? Porque somos energía y esto no tiene que ver con ninguna práctica religiosa. Ni esta... No, no, no. Estamos hablando de una realidad. Somos energía. Entonces este es un cuerpo físico y nosotros somos energía en este cuerpo físico. Entonces nuestro cuerpo también es energía. Entonces, please explain how you created this technology to heal through frequencies instead of taking pills or medicine. Very simple. So, so when people ask me, what is frequency healing? Think about music. We all listen to music, right? We dance to music, you know, music makes me sad, makes you sad, music makes you happy. So just the sound and these vibrations, rhythm and instruments and voice, they all can change your emotion. They can yep. even change your physiology. Like you play a really smart play, you stand up, you get all excited, and your eyes uh, uh, open up. Or when you, you hear a very, you know, slow and kind of a, like a low music, you feel like sleepy. You feel like you want to relax. No, and if you break up with somebody, <laughs> and then you you put the saddest song, and then you cry, make right? you think that you're an yeah. idiot, right? So then so, you get totally depressed and you don't even want to yeah. go out of the door. Exactly. Right? So music has such a profound effect on our emotions, even spiritually. We go to church, we, we sing in church, and on that music is to lift up our souls, is to praise God. Um, so music is a fundamental, you know, reality of how it makes up our person, right? Our emotions 
And I'm going further to say that, well, what if there's a kind of music that can actually change you even deeper than your emotions? What if there's a kind of music that can change you even down to your cellular level, actually change your cells, and scientifically proven to do that? Okay, so I say, well, how can music change your cells? Well, there's a different kind of music, and it's a music that you cannot hear. It's called magnetic energy, or what we call PEMF, or pulse electromagnetic field. So you know what magnets are, right? Magnets stick together, but you know that we can also make magnetic fields. So that means, like, um, uh, for example, uh, Earth has a magnetic field, right? If you go away from Earth into space, eventually you fly into space because you're too far from the magnetic field. But if you stay within the magnetic field, then you come back to Earth. So it has this magnetic field, which is invisible, but it actually affects everybody on the planet. Because what they did, NASA, they took these space, uh, space people into space, in the space shuttle, far away from the magnetic field, and they started to get sick and they started to get, uh, lose their bone density because they were away from that magnetic field. So what happens when they came back, then they were okay. So what they did is they created a device like this to make the magnetic field in the spaceship so that when they're- magnetic field? Magnetic field, magnetic energy. In to the create a magnetic field yep. that impacts not only around you, but inside your body. Yes. So, so basically what I'm saying is this happens naturally. This magnetic energy happened naturally on Earth. But then a lot of us are being, um, being uh, hurt from bad magnetic field, like from our cell phone, cell phones, and from our computer, or from 5G. So now we have this bad magnetic field affecting our body. That's why we have so many people with, with issues these days. We have cancer going up every year every day autism one in five canadians have autism uh, children have autism yeah. okay one in five canadians i heard also have cancer okay. so I, I don't know what the statistics in mexico are but probably yeah. pretty bad very high right and also of other things like obesity diabetes and yeah why don't we even mention all the mental and uh, emotional issues derived from all this pain and also from pandemia and also from fear, yes. which is another important sickness that people don't understand. I just want to ask you a question before you keep explaining the methodology, because some people have asked in the chat, like exactly what can frequencies cure? And what does this device that's called Kikong created by David Wang, which is here with us today, because it, it cures your nervous system? Okay, well, it can I, cure your body? I can't, cure. Say, I can't say it cures anything. I can't say it heal anything. That I'm not allowed to say that. But what I can say is that it helped me to heal myself in 90 days. And um, I had no more bleeding. All the inflammation is gone. I look like I'm 25. Okay. Then, I thought you were 25. When I, yeah. So I'm 40, I'm 43 and yeah. uh, I don't get sick anymore. And I'm, um, I have so much energy and basically it transformed my life. And, and you're asking, okay, what, it all depends on frequency. So let's say somebody has cancer. Well, there are frequencies for cancer. I cannot say it will heal you, but there are frequencies for that. And many people use that. And they have, some people have a success. Will you have success? I don't know. You can try it out, right? Uh, people, but you have, and you have like studies. How many people have been using your key coil and saying, I'm feeling have, much better? Over, over 10,000. Somebody in the Bulgars that had such a terrible skin psoriasis yeah. in such pain every day. And she told me that in, I don't know, 60 days, using the program for healing your skin, Estamos hablando de una chica que yo conocí que tenía psoriasis, que usó esto, 
y bueno, pues había tenido una transformación importantísima después de, ya saben, bueno, años también de dolor, de picazón. Entonces estoy preguntando a David que, ¿cuáles son los usos más benéficos que tiene el Kikong? ¿Para qué tipo de problemáticas? And I'm telling our friends in Mexico that I'm asking you, like, what would be the systems in our body that, can actually benefit more from this type of technology. It's all systems. It's all systems. The more I research this, is like it helps everything. And I know that sounds like unbelievable, but it is. It's true. Okay. Okay. Think about as music for your cells, and your cells can listen to this music. It's completely silent, but your cells can listen to this music. And then you can choose 10,000 different musics that we have. We call them frequencies or quantum frequencies. So just imagine each one of these music, your cells can listen to you. You can tell them to do whatever you want. So let's say you want weight loss. You can have a frequency for weight loss. Let's say you want to have better skin, like that lady who, who um, doesn't have psoriasis anymore because she used the frequencies for 60 days. And she had the psoriasis for 28 years. 28 years she had. Psoriasis. And, her, her and, and I met her. It's not something that David is telling you. No, no. I met this girl. Yeah. I, I talked to her. She showed me her legs and how all the scars were starting to heal. All the scars of the psoriasis that she had. So, yeah. Okay. Now, this is for all, all the people like me that are not technological, but that we really want to understand and feel safe like for example i would love to ask how you know what is the right frequency that's a Devani. thank you for your question and um, over the last 80 years there has been a group of scientists that have basically tested thousands and thousands of frequencies and they have found the ones for specific conditions so all we do is just use those frequencies and we use our coil in our system to play that into your cells. So it make it absorb into your body. Somebody asked if they were copper coils. Can you explain a little bit what is this made of? And how does the frequency, one way or the other, be exalted by this type of material? Right. Right. So these are copper coils. And then this shape is called a, um, it's a toroid. And the reason this shape is this is the best way the best shape for making a magnetic field. It makes it the most uh, uh, intense and it also makes it the most compatible with your body on the electric field. Yeah. It's the origin of life. Exactly. It's, it's really the design of el caracol. Este es el diseño del caracol, que es el diseño del origen de la vida. Mm -hmm. So, and then I also discovered yin and yang. You see, they go different direction. One yin and yang, just like in the Chinese philosophy. Yeah. Yeah, like a, a yin yang. And how do you know which is yin and which is it yang? It says, there's a, there's a sticker on there that says. Are you kidding? Yeah. I haven't said that. And where should you have your yin and where should you have your yang? Uh, there's a whole chart. I made a chart. So just watch the chart. So basically, uh, usually yin on the left side, react on the right side. Anyway, it's called it's pretty complicated. Yeah, it's complicated. It's complex. 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 It's there's a chart that shows you, you can get different effects using the, uh, the yin and yang, different patterns, but uh, I'm not going to get too, too deep into it. But basically, the, you, you have the balance, right? What's yin and yang is all about balance. Yeah. So, so if you want balance, this is how you create it. You literally have a balanced energy field when you have one on the left or right, or you put them together. You, ha you will feel so centered and so calm and so focused you never felt before. Well, I've been using them since you gave them to me at the breakers. And let me tell you that, well, I, I've been doing a few things since I started on functional medicine, like LiveWave, the little patch that I have here, the X39, which is amazing. And obviously, BrainPow, which I'm one of the voices in Spanish. I'm going to do my material for practice for This is amazing. So you know what I do? I put this, my brain tap. Every morning and every night, I do it two times a day. And I put one Qigong here and one here. I'm not sure if I'm doing it the correct way or not. Uh -huh. But it feels funny. You can feel it. You can actually feel this energy. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so positive, negative, it's not positive, negative, it's just yin and yang. Okay, one, one is, uh, you can say, more soothing, and the other one's more uh, activating. So if, you can think, you know, if you think about feminine and masculine energy, you know, yeah. feminine, they're like warm, and they're comforting, and they're like receptive, and they're more smooth and soothing uh, and relaxing. And then, you know, masculine, you can think of as more, you know, uh, focused and more aggressive and more um, intentional, activating, concentrated. So, mm -hmm. so. It's like the combination of these two. Awesome. Mm -hmm. David Poole yeah. is happy about the explanation. Okay. But please try to keep under explaining so I can understand, because I know if I understand, yeah. Our friends. So, so how does it work? It'll make more sense once I once I show you this. So so we have this tablet, okay? It comes yeah. with some of our systems and it has exactly. all our frequencies. So there's ten thousand frequencies in here. So all you need to do is turn up the program and then you go through the list of things that you want to do. So let's say you have a, you know, a, a, a digestion or sleep or uh, focus or energy or regenerate. So you click one of these and then you press play and then that connects to this little power, very little power. And then that power goes into the coils and then the, the energy come out of the coils. So it's, it's, it's silent, you can't see it. Uh, I got it on right now. And you, you know what? Let's put the and you have there's two things in this tablet that comes obviously with this. And you have um like two main parts, which is the rice console console and the resonant console. Yeah. And I remember and, and thank you so much because when this didn't turn on, literally you sent it to me to Mexico and Two days and it's working perfect. And I appreciate very much because the only way I can talk about something people know me is if I try it and it's making me feel something different or better, which means for me better sleep, uh, more focus and more energy, which I think are one of the main like things that people feel bad about these days. They don't have energy, they're tired. That makes them depressed. They even have emotional situations with other people. Mm -hmm. And so you have two frequencies here. There's the higher quantum and the rice. Mm -hmm. Can you please explain a little bit what these two are? Because this, I'm in higher quantum right now. Yeah. Yes, it's templo. Yeah, you can explain it much better than I can do. Okay, so, so there's many, different kinds of healing frequencies. There's not just one because you think of music, there's different kinds of music, right? So uh, there's a big group of uh, frequencies called RIFE, R-I-F-E frequencies. And those are, you know, been around for about 80 years or so. And these are uh, very specific. So they have uh, ones for very specific uh, health conditions. And we have a whole- like pain and inflammation, skin and cell regeneration, cool. So these are, uh, there's, there's about, um, there's so many, there's 10,000 of them, okay? So that's the old stuff. Now we use our own techniques, uh, including rife techniques, but there's actually many techniques of creating these, uh, like, let's say music for, the, for, for healing. So, so we use, um, uh, and then we made our own frequency, we call them quantum frequencies or higher quantum frequencies. And what these are, I can play you one. Please. Uh, but let me let me show you one thing before that. I have I want to show you. On on right now. You know, I have, yeah, I've got the higher quantum, the luck boost. Okay. So I'm, I'm sending <laughs> luck to all of my friends. Now people say you can't, can't feel the energy, you can't see the energy, but actually you can see the energy. So look, I have right now. If you can see, can you see that? Yes, I can definitely see it. It's una cajita de plástico. It's como una cosita redondita de plástico que tiene una una bueno, una bolita. Y esa es la energía que está emitiendo aquí con ahorita. Entonces tú puedes ver porque yo lo hice con el mío. Le pones esa cosita aquí que no la tengo aquí ahorita y literal puedes darte cuenta cómo efectivamente esto está, pero bailando la bolita así. 
Y esa es la frecuencia sanadora que tú estás recibiendo. There you go. Yeah. So some people say, well, what's happening? Like, um, is there anything coming out of the coils? Well, you can't hear it, you can't see it, but you can see what it's doing. You can see what it's doing, right? You can see the magnets moving. So you can, there's actual magnetic energy coming out here. So this is what you used to demonstrate that. So then you probably ask me, well, okay, what kind of uh, sounds are you talking about? What are these frequencies, these quantum frequencies you're talking about? So let me play one uh, that people really like. Here's one. What's the frequency for? This one that's actually pineal gland activation. Wow. So wow. How, and how many I have you got question. something in their, in their head? I haven't been their... able to hear them. Why can't I hear them in my, this? You have, to, you have to disconnect it, then you can hear it. Oh. Yeah, right now it's going to your coils, so you can't hear it, right? Oh, no, no wonder. Coil, you turn off the, 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 the Bluetooth, and you play it just with the sound, and then you can hear it. Cool. Yeah. So, so, okay, so this is something very unique that nobody else is doing. Is number one, we're actually combining sound frequencies that are very powerful. And if you just listen to that, you can feel it. You can feel it in your head, right? It's like something's moving inside your head. Uh, and we combine that with uh, the magnetic coils. So now we have two levels of um, transforming your body. We're transforming with the sound and we're transforming you with the, with the silent and invisible energy. Wow. Yeah, it's third eye. Some of the cases, the case studies, or the people that have, have shared with you after using Kiko, what has happened in their life? Oh, Do you have like any pictures? Pretty... Do you have anything you would like to share with us? Yeah. Eh, bueno, pues, espero que les esté encantando conocer a, a David Wong y, y esto que de verdad que es una maravilla, una maravilla. Y así ahí va el mundo, mis queridas amigas y amigos, que está feliz ahorita. Is, is earbuds good for us? No. The, the no. Ones? No. No. Don't use them. No. Even wireless wireless headsets? No. Okay. Um, they 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 mess with your brain waves. Don't don't wear them. Yeah, because everybody wears them. No. You usually wear them. I wear them. Don't wear them. When I go to the in, Don't worry though, you're putting, you're putting this Bluetooth, this frequency right in, next to your brain. Why would you do that? Oh. Okay, and the frequency is not good for you. Okay. 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 Try, try to follow, okay. Try this, okay. Wear your earbuds, okay. Connect them to Bluetooth and try to fall asleep. Probably can't sleep. It has a frequency that affects your brain. Oh. Okay. But then... The sleep reprogramming sessions, what you should hear them. Use, use wired headphones, okay? Wired headphones, okay? Oh, okay. Don't use Bluetooth headphones. Okay. Now, Bluetooth is fairly safe if it is not so close to your brain. If it's like holding in the hand, it's okay, it's not too bad. Or, or you know, in front of you, like around you, it's okay. But the earbuds are right against your brain. That's why it's, that why it's, it is uh, very unhealthy. Thanks, so, David. Thanks, yeah. David. Okay, keep on telling us about this, please. Um, we were talking about what people have shared, because you have been all around. They, they're inviting you to so many biohacking events, um, people in the world of functional medicine, of this other way of looking at healing, are very interested in what you're doing, because you're combining um, practices that have been known for the history of the world to be good, like meditation or, or yoga or chiku or tai chi or uh, many more, plus technology, plus something that is natural to us, which is our frequency. Mm -hmm. Well, we've heard thousands of success stories. I was just at the events 
um, with um, two of my new friends, and now they're um, you know leaders in in the company because they, their life is completely transformed. We have a lady; her name is Jessica. She was a real estate agent, and she had an accident, and something blew up in her face. So her jaw was completely blown up. It was like uh, one thousand psi or something. She had to have seven surgeries on her face, and then after the surgery, she could not talk. She could not move her mouth. She could not feel her lips for years. And she was very depressed because she used to be very outgoing, and now she couldn't even go to the house. She she was a hermit for a long time, and she was researching different ways to heal because obviously the surgery didn't do much, the medications not helping much. So she studied my coils and followed my coils. And after a year of following my coils and doing research, she finally said, "Okay, I'll give it a try." She bought the coils, and then I think it was. Six weeks later, her lips to feeling came back. Wow! Now she could kiss yeah. again. <laughs> kiss again. Imagine not feeling a kiss. <laughs> really? And so sad. And then, she, and then you wouldn't believe it. You wouldn't think that she was、uh, bedridden when she she was at the event in Atlanta just just a couple days ago, and she has been talking to everybody. She had lots of energy and.、Um, She was standing up. She, I mean, and she she was very energetic, and she was talking normally to everybody. And at the end of the event, she said, "You have no idea what this means for me, David. You know, you completely transformed my life. I never imagined I would be at this event, talking to so many people, going out again, being outgoing, and and being normal again." So feel, feeling、yeah. no feeling good. Feeling like good. The, the problem is, David, that we normalize. Not feeling well because most people are not feeling to their best. So we normalize that as it's normal. My head hurts. It's normal. You know, pollution, the altitude, Mexico. It's normal. No, it's not normal. We should not normalize not feeling well. We should actually, what what I believe, because for me,、um, meeting you and. Dr. Fab and Patrick and so many amazing people that I've met. It's understanding that you have to think out of the box. You have to think out of the box if you want different results. I mean, it was a definition of stupidity by Einstein. No, if you do the same things expecting different results, then it's probably not going to happen. So this is just an invitation. As David said, he cannot guarantee that you're going to be healed, but I can guarantee. That I met him in person, I looked at his eyes, and I know that this is something that has healed him, and that has healed thousands of, or helped heal thousands of people. I don't think there's only one thing you can do, because I think this is super good. But all, if you meditate, if you move your body, if you work on your good thoughts, if you take good actions, then it's this is gonna multiply just because. Of everything you're doing to feel better and be better and explode as a as a light and not as darkness, right? Yeah. Another another huge、um, uh, huge difference, and、uh, we we are making in the world is with children. So the same the same lady Jessica, she has a three year old son, and she has been using our our technology with him since he was one years old, and and he is developing so much more quickly than all the other kids apparently. So at three years old, she, he's talking. He's he's he's、uh, has a level of intellectual ability and and dialogue that are much more advanced than other kids. So when other kids try to you know play with their, play with together, the other kids having problems communicating or expressing their thoughts, and he would be the one kind of translating between the the kids and then helping them to communicate with the, with the adults and with other children. So and he's only three years old. I don't know if that's normal or not. But and and what else is、uh, he 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 loves using the cheek holes because、um, it helps him to sleep, it helps him calm down.、Um, so 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 we're making really uh, amazing uh, progress with helping kids kids with ADHD, autism, and mental health. And we actually、wow. did, we actually did a case study of twenty six kids that are in the school system with the in the in the learning disabled class, the lowest class, the lowest performing class in the whole school. And within four months of using our technology, now they are performing the top one percent of the school. Are you kidding? 
I'm not kidding. Okay, now David, like this, I'm, I'm, sure we, I'm gonna obviously, God bless you. I'm gonna obviously leave, voy a dejar la liga para que ustedes eh, puedan seguir a David. And, but there's, there's a few questions, like I got a personal question, but I'm sure that many people that probably, well, I have something very like interesting to share because you told me about it and I want our friends to know. Sweet dreams to South Africa. Cool, eh? That they're, they, a, a guy from South Africa, I'm so happy that he joined. Well, I have a question. This is like um, the one I have, but you also have one that's just one. And what's really interesting is I was talking to Dr. Fab and he said that he had like a bigger one that you place in the space. Sorry. Yeah. So this, this one here, so it looks small, but if you, if I go back, you can see how big it is. You see how big this is? Oh, wow. You have a huge one there, David. Okay. So that is actually covers 3,000 square feet. And it is uh, artwork. It is jewelry. And it's also a uh, wellness device that you can use for the whole house and whole family. It's beautiful. Beautiful. I, I was just thinking, I, I work so much with leaders. I mean, companies hire me to work with their leaders to feel happier. And there's so much to do in the workplaces because there's a lot of stress, uncertainty, sometimes mental and physical fatigue and dealing with so many issues and different people because we're just think different. So um, it would be amazing that some companies buy this and put them in their offices yeah. no would it generate have you they'll done any money. studies how it can generate money. <laughs> they'll pay more money for sure <laughs> i'm actually working with a uh, sales trainer who trains thousands and thousands of salespeople in organizations and you know what what uh, you know lowers people's uh, company sell is because people are stressed they're tired they burn out so they right. perform they can't talk to their clients and be nice to them. <laughs> they because they're feeling shitty. Yeah, oh, it's stressed. Right? Yes. How, how can you sell something and convince somebody when you are all stressed out and, and negative and, and sick and tired? You're not no, 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 don't even remember me of that time. I'm a speaker, I work with leaders. I developed a theory that's amazing that's called Discover Your Superhero. And I was feeling so sick. And then you know what happened to me? Since I'm a doer, and I think my superior, that one, the one that is, it was naughty in the sense that I was very, like, mean to me, and you have to do it. So I forced myself to keep on performing the way I like to do it, which is very well, and because I'm, I'm working with the most important thing we have in the world, which is human beings and their heart and their soul and their brain. So imagine when I, I was feeling sick, it was so hard, it's so hard to, what you say is so true, it's so hard to do anything when you're feeling so bad, it's awful, mm -hmm. super awful. But that in workspaces would be amazing, right? It will make everybody be a lot more relaxed and then also happier. We actually can make people happy, seriously. People, people don't know what happy means anymore because they have been unhappy for so long. They forget what it means to really smile. And they forgot what it means to be joyful and excited about something because uh, you look at them and they're like this. Yeah, exactly. uh, they're burned out. They're burned out. It really doesn't help right? what people are eating. Uh, they talk like this. They don't, even, they don't have no energy because they're, they're so tired and their voice is like this and their eyes are so like this because they can't even open their eyes. They're so tired. And then when they, when, they, or if they see them, like they, they, they force it themselves to be have energy, but it's not really true uh, help, right? They take <laughs> drink lots of coffee and uh, caffeine or do drugs and get really, really like high. Yeah. It's not sustainable. It's not sustainable. Okay. So, you know, people forgot what it really means to be truly happy in a deep, profound way and be calm and relaxed and confident in a truly profound way. It doesn't exist anymore, or at least it doesn't exist much. So, so when you have these frequencies, it's an effortless transformation. You have these playing in an office, in your home, 
you're going to see slow 1% a day transformations. And people are going to feel more happy. People are going to feel more relaxed. They will feel, you'll get better sleep. They'll have better sex. They will have uh, more energy. Oh my God, <laughs> this is so like, Kathy, better sex. <laughs> Friends, who does this? It's not. <laughs> that's worth the price of these by the five by love by itself, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You should sell them the the happy sex. <laughs> the happy sex machine. Mm. Happy sex technology. I'll let, you that. I'll let you take care of that. I'm, ah. I'm not gonna <laughs> It's just my idea, you're the scientist my dear. <laughs> Well, no, talking seriously. <laughs> David, you're so right. People don't laugh anymore. They don't have fun. Well, and after pandemia, they don't even touch. They don't hug. I'm a doctor in psychology combined. We know the impact that this has had in humanity because being totally like away from everybody and telling you, it was like, pandemic was the license for many of our emotional this balances to flourish and with an agreement from the doctors that you know it, it's normal to be a little bit paranoid it's normal to be a little bit depressed it's normal to be a little bit anxious and your hair is falling right it's no, no it's not normal bullshit it's that's, normal. That's, that's, the doctors are sick all the doctors are sick that's why they're saying that <laughs> Don't even say that. No, I trust medicine 100%. But you know what my focus is? My focus is on um, helping people live longer, happier, healthier lives. Because when you've been there, you know what that feels. So it's not that I want people to live to 120, but whatever the years they have, I want them to be more productive, to be more focused to have more energy, to be better parents, to be better co-workers, to be better friends, to be better mothers and fathers, but mainly, David, to be better to ourselves. Because I believe, well, and maybe I'm talking about myself, but what I see can sound in the ears or the soul of others. I usually didn't put myself in first place at all. I usually didn't even give myself the time to meditate every day, which I do now, obviously, and exercise. And why not, like, use what today exists to magnify what has been confirmed good many years back? Because more than inventing this, which you obviously did, is you combined the best of the best in a few of the best worlds that we navigate through, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, if you look at this, we combine many of the best um, technology that exists today. Like, for example, the frequency that you heard, that is the, 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 the best frequencies you can, you can use for, for meditation. There's no frequency better than that for pineal gland activation. I've, I've talked to probably hundreds of different meditators and they say, I've never had my pineal gland activate that quickly within just five seconds. They tell me that. So we have so, the most power. So to understand, in, in my iPad, I go to the quantum, higher quantum, and there's, for so many things, wellness one, wellness two, wellness three, abundance, success, um, brain, um, wisdom, manifest in meditation so i go to meditation mm -hmm. and, yeah email. and which one of them is it for example what you just said for the pineal gap it says third eye deep transformation remove blockages so these are all the frequencies like for example if you wake up one morning and you're you're feeling down because it happens you know sometimes it happens you can put a good mood frequency and just walk around the room. You don't have to have these hanging on you. They can be in your bed, they can be in your table. And you're gonna 
benefit from this. And if you're meditating, you put this frequency and you meditate like you usually meditate. It's going to activate your pineal gland much faster. So you enter a deep state of relaxation. Yes. Yes, exactly. You explained it pretty well. Yeah. I like so, so with, with the, with the coils, you're creating an environment. Okay. You're creating an environment that can, um, lift up your, your energy and lift up everything about your, uh, your whole life force, right? Chi, chi in Chinese means life force. That's why these are called chi clothes. So, you know, the foundation of everything, of your health, of your, of your, of your relationships, of, um, your emotions, of your spiritual life, it's, and your, even your, your career and your, and your, uh, you know, and your abundance and money, it's all about a force. It's all, it's all energy, right? We are all energy. So if we can have a way to, to tune that life force, you know, give it something that we need, give it something that we're missing, then that would just give us any, everything we need to change whatever part we want about ourselves, right? Because we're going to the foundational um, thing, which is frequency, which is what exactly. is behind, behind everything that we do, behind every part of our body, uh, behind the essence of reality itself is just frequency. And frequency and energy is easy to change. You think about it. Frequency and energy is easy to change. It's not like something like a rock. It's completely fluid. It's completely empty and uh, formless, right? So, so if it's easy to change, why not use frequencies to just change it? And then what, while you're inside this environment with the frequency change, you, be, you change. And it's all effortless. It's all automatic. That's how all this works. I love it, David, and I love meeting you. I don't think there's casualidades. Yo les llamo diosidencias. There's always a higher power, this amazing, beautiful energy that put us together and that has been putting us together for an hour with maybe some of your new Spanish-speaking friends because some of my friends are really interested in knowing what I'm doing because they knew how bad I was feeling and they want to feel better. So I'm so happy to introduce you to the Spanish speaking, uh, this, this country that has been my home for so many years, extraordinary friends, an amazing community that's not only in Mexico, it's all around the world. And talking about Colombia, Argentina, Peru, I mean, what can I say? I hope from my heart that um, what you've done helps millions of people. And this is why I did this program with you, which I feel very blessed, very happy to have met you. And you know what? This is going to be my first podcast because it's incredible. I don't got a podcast, so I have to make a podcast, right? Right. So this is going to be my first podcast, and you're oh. you're mentoring it. <laughs> I'll be on it be on, on there. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, definitely. You will be on it. You will the, be the first. Let's heal. First. So let's heal Mexico. That should be a thing. Healing yeah. Mexico. Let's heal Mexico. You know what? That's beautiful. Let's heal Mexico. Let's heal, let's help heal Mexico. And I'm sure with that amazing, amazing intention behind your words, it's going to happen because magic happens and that's what we're all doing. So I feel very blessed to be part of this biohacking world that has just invited me in and saying, wow. I'm amazed with this. I'm amazed with brain tap. I'm amazed what we can actually do to change everything that they told us couldn't be changed. And it can with the correct attitude, with the right teachers and trusting, which is one of the things we've lost mm -hmm. to trust in something bigger than what our eyes can see. Right. So, David, where can people contact you? How can they ask you questions? And how can they buy the Qigong? It's 
that's what they yeah. want because they want to buy yeah. it. You put it back in there, you go. Key.com. Use the key, I love it. Use the key.com. Couldn't be easier. Yeah. So they can write to you there. Yeah. All my socials, all my links in there, use the key.com. And I'll leave it up again. So use the QI. QI. Use the key.com. Yeah. Para todas las personas que les interese tener contacto con David, que es, pues la verdad es un chavo en un cuerpo humano de 43 años, pero I'm telling them, you have so much energy and so much passion. I've been watching some of your, of your... I'm just going to um, close off with, with three points, okay? okay? So there's three things that I really believe in this. Number one, I believe there's no such thing as an incurable disease. You got it? Let that think in. There's no such thing as an incurable disease. Hay Number two. Cosas con las que David quiere que cerremos el programa. Number two. Que son tres cosas que él considera como él cree que está súper seguro de esto. La primera, que no existe tal cosa como una enfermedad incurable. Y lo vuelve a repetir. Desde la perspectiva de David Wong, creador de Kiko. Right. Eh, Number two is that Number two is this reason for suffering. There's a reason for your suffering, and it's because he want, because you have a bigger purpose. And La that's, segunda, right. que el sufrimiento tiene un propósito. Entonces, el propósito suena raro de esos momentos donde tú te has sentido físicamente o emocionalmente enfermo, han sido para llevarte a otro nivel de conciencia mayor. And number, number three is that, number three is that God has a purpose for you and he wants to make you help other people and there's thousands of people waiting for you to help them. It is your duty to become the best person you can be so that you can make the biggest difference in their lives. Wow. Y la tercera cosa con la que cerramos nuestro programa es que Dios nos creó con un propósito. Y el propósito es ser la mejor versión de nosotros mismos en todos los sentidos para poder transmitir, compartir su luz y para poder ayudar a muchos más. Entonces, cuanto mejor te sientas, física, emocional, energética y espiritualmente, vas a lograr eso, que esa es tu real misión en esta vida. I totally agree. I love it. They, they put the little paper. So you're gonna, the team is going to answer the questions of all the people that text and use the key.com y díganle, escríbanle, díganle que le hablaron de parte de Lizzy y que vieron el programa. And do you have Spanish people in the team that will answer? Our uh, Spanish not, speaking not community? Not yet, but we can probably translate it and respond. Yeah. Perfect. I'm sure you can do that because I want them to feel as home as you have all uh, let us feel talking about something that is difficult to explain and sometimes we really don't have to explain things sometimes we just have to try them but david big hug from all the friends in mexico and from my heart to yours and see you soon um, do you have any final words to our friends in mexico when are you coming to say hi it was very soon Maybe I'll go to Cancun. I love Cancun. <laughs> Mexico City is not Cancun, but I think you can make a combination trip. The city is amazing. The culture in Mexico, the food everywhere. There's more than Cancun, but Cancun is a good place to start. <laughs> okay. David, take care. Mis queridas amigas y amigos, muchísimas gracias por acompañarnos en este programa tan especial con David Wong el creador de esto que pues, es una maravilla 
Y pues si tú estás sufriendo de dolores físicos, de esas enfermedades que dijeron que eran incurables, si tienes algún pariente que necesita beneficiarse de algo que probablemente está ya más de lo que los ojos ven, pues pruébalo y escríbele. Ah, David. Bye, bye, David. Gracias a todos. Los amo. Que tengan un excelente octubre. Los quiero mucho. Gracias, gracias a todos. Ah, suscríbanse a mi canal de YouTube, por favor. Ahí se están subiendo todas las entrevistas. Y bueno, pues les tengo una súper... Tengo varias entrevistas esta semana, les voy a contar. Me voy a dejar tantito porque estaba yo aquí. Acá tengo mi... Les voy a contar. El jueves va a estar conmigo, ¿quién cree? Susana Majul, desde Argentina. Así que prepárense, porque, pues, ¿qué les puedo decir? Susi es, es un canal de luz tan puro y potente que a mí siempre la sensación que me da cada vez que escucho a Susi es como, como, wow, si le hubiera pedido a Dios un traductor de la respuesta a mi pregunta, está Susi. Así que no se pierdan el programa que voy a tener con Susana Macula y jueves en alguna hora en México. Y el viernes tengo... Bueno, pues, ¿qué les digo? Una paisana mía, que adoro, a Olga Vichis, desde Colombia. Así que, pues, voy a seguir mientras Diosito me dé vida compartiendo todo lo que a mí me ayuda y lo que considero que por lo menos te des la oportunidad de escuchar y que también te des la oportunidad de descubrir. Y si tienes dudas o preguntas acerca de lo que hablamos el día de hoy, que es esta combinación de tecnología con frecuencias y lo que el mundo está haciendo para biohack, que quiere decir a que vivas mejor, más años, más feliz, más fuerte, más lleno de energía y mucho más lleno de luz que se va a traducir en amor para ti y para todos los demás. Así que me despido y los veo muy prontito. Les quiero mucho gracias por unirse. Si tienen dudas o preguntas, escríbanme y suscríbanse a mi canal de YouTube. Thank you.